Hello and welcome to Watercolor Wednesday at the 1870 Studio. We're going to get started in just a minute and I want to go over some fun things with you. Uh, quickly, this is what we did last week. It was a fun one, wasn't it, Morton? Mm -hmm. Morton is going to be reading our comments. Your comments. You want that over here? Um, yeah, we'll just, I'll just scoot this back in here. Uh, but tonight we're going to paint something totally different. And if you haven't visited our website yet, please visit it. It's the 1870.com, 1870studio.com all together. And, um, <clears throat> and just put some exciting, fun new things on there. I did a lot. I hope you'll like. Okay, so... What we're, my name is Priscilla, my husband is Martin, and hi, Laura. We're gonna be shouting out lots of people that we see on here tonight. And um, we wanna invite you every Wednesday, come and paint with us. So let me start by telling you a little bit about my paints. These are uh, Van Gogh watercolors, they're paint pans, but you can paint with anything. You can use a water-soluble marker, Any anything will work. A couple weeks ago, I painted with uh, stuff from a dollar store, and it was amazing. And I am feeling great. I was sick over Christmas, but I'm feeling great. So uh, <laughs> let me show you how I, set, how, how I get myself set up. I put some water, clean water, in my mucky water here. It might be time to change it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'll throw it away. You want to change it for me, honey? Yeah. I'll keep this little mucky pan. Actually, maybe give them both a wash. Well, he gives them a wash quick. I'm going to show you why I like to use bowls. Um, I'm going to tell you about my other water supply. Because you can't do water without watercolors. Or you can't do watercolors without water. You know what I meant. <clears throat> um, I love using a little spray bottle. Anything. This was one that never had anything in it but water. So um, this is great to soak our page with or to soak our colors with. So while he's filling that up, I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna spray it on. Sometimes I just spray it on, like if I am only gonna be using red, I'll just do that. But tonight we're gonna to use all these colors. We are gonna paint something so fabulous and so fun. If you have your watercolors along or out tonight, please paint with me. It'll be amazing. We will have fun. So this is a piece of um, watercolor pe paper, and thank you for following. Thank you for being here, and I hope you're I hope you're gonna get something out of tonight. And this is something that we're gonna this this will be put up on our uh, YouTube channel. It will be up there for always, always. You can watch it anytime you want to, paint along. So if you don't have your paints out tonight you can um, paint along in the future. So this is just a piece of watercolor paper. Um, it's, this one's a bit thicker and they talk about um, this, the texture of watercolor paper. You hear people talking about it as the tooth and sometimes the sides can look different. I'm going to, I think we're gonna use the, this orientation tonight with this one. And this is a piece that I had cut down. This was a tablet. Um, that I had got at a local charity store. They had sold it for $5.80. I paid $1.99. But look in these before you buy the Muse because this one had only uh, three or four sheets in it. But it was still a good deal. It was still okay. All right, so Martin, Martin has brought us bowls back. Two very full bowls, bowls of water. I like to keep one that's a cleaner bowl. And I like to keep one that is uh, a dirty bowl. Mm, so thanks, I, I will. Thanks for following. I, I will. Seen that. I had. Um, I I should have told you to leave one of these empty because I wanted a circle. But I will use something else for my circle. Okay, so that uh, well, I wanted a, a circle about this size. So I'm going to pour this water in here. Yep, and it all fits. Okay. So tonight we're gonna we're gonna get started, and I'm gonna show you a cool little a cool little fun painting tonight. I've been it's the this is our very last watercolor painting in 2022, 
and I've been thinking a lot about what's coming up ahead for us in 2023. I'm very excited that we're going to be creating and doing fun stuff together. So what I'm going to do here is take, I'm going to take some blues. I'm just going to paint the edge of my bowl. Oops, went down into my bowl. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. Blues around the edge. If it runs inside, that's okay. I have three colors of blue. We'll put all three on and see how this goes for us. Okay, and I'm just doing it with a, this is a nice, um, it says camel, this is not a real, this isn't a real camel brush, this is a knockoff. It's a number 10. I don't, I don't think it's real camel anyway. I hope not. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this bowl up carefully. I'm gonna put my paper back into place. Now we could take masking tape and tape down the edges. You can do that. I'm not gonna do that. So right now what I'm gonna do is kinda of try to hold this and turn it upside down quickly. Don't worry if any runs out. If it's not positioned right in the middle, I won't be sad. I'm just gonna put it there. And I might give it a little kind of in place, but a little bit of a twist. Cause I wanna get that paint that I put on the edge to create our circle for us. So carefully now I'm gonna lift this up. That's just what I wanted, that beautiful little circle. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of my favorite brushes. This is sort of a go-to brush for me. It's um it's a Pevio brush. It's four water paints. It says aqua on it, and it's a number four. So I haven't painted with it since last week. I'm just gonna push my finger over the tip, kind of get it all going around. So now this before this gets um Try quick. Martin, can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get lost in my painting. People have been joining and saying hello. And <laughs> welcome, welcome, and I'm glad you're here. We um, we're working on a on a lovely painting tonight. When you start to see what it is, I want you to shout it out. So I'm just mm -hmm. taking and I'm painting in. That's sort of a little blop of something. So I'm just taking that off the off of the canvas or off the watercolor. Hi everyone, I'm trying to be quiet to let Priscilla talk. So I want to take some of my water and come on top <clears throat> of the line, but I'm pulling in because we want to create that lovely circle. Any guesses on what we're painting tonight? Can you guess? Nobody's saying anything so far. They're saying <laughs> hello. So hello, hello, hello. You tip, you tip. And Tonya and that said hello. Hello, hello. A clock. Hey, Tonya. Madeline suggests. Oh, a clock, a snow globe. Those are all good ideas. Those are all good ideas that you oh, can that, that you can do with the circle. And you can see see some of the residue of the brown stuff there. Right now we're we're gonna get all this wet put in here and I'm just sort of painting in right towards the center and keep those guesses coming no one got it yet the earth says oh dream dream charmer got it we're painting the big old big old earth because right now Morton I didn't tell you this someone just invited us to come visit them in France all right how lovely would that mm -hmm. be That'd the be south nice. of France Bordeaux cat paws Thank you. Oh, okay, so we're going to paint this in. Now, everything is nice and wet now. Now, since the earth is blue, we're going to come back and we're going to just drop in some little bits. Just drop in some little bits. Little dots. Just drop some in. I'm going to go for a lot of color here. 
Oh, that color, that shade is good. There's my shade right there. That's what we want. Hi to everybody joining. You've got watercolor Wednesday and Priscilla's paint in the air. Martin, that sounded like you were a regular TV announcer. Live from Watercolor Wednesday, we're painting the earth. So I'm not going to worry about having totally smooth edges because we're not just going to paint the earth. We're going to do something else with it too. The other thing we're going to do with it is going to be fun. I think you're going to love it. Putting lots of color down. I want to get my blue everywhere first. I am leaving some spaces here and there. So we're going to put a little bit of green on here with it. Blues and greens. Is there texture on your paper? Yeah, this, this watercolor, it does have a... It's a um, rough surface on this one. It's the 400 series. There, the 400 series. So it will support repeated washes, scrubbings. It's a rough surface. It has a has a good tooth on it. And I got this little this little blob over here. This is gonna be a special special point. We're gonna do something with that. So you saw how I, I got this by coating the lip of this with my blue and then coming coming in and pushing everything in. Now we're gonna jump in and put, we're gonna put just a little bit of green here and there. I don't wanna overdo it. And I'm not gonna to try to paint continents. I'm not gonna do that. They were saying they couldn't tell if it was texture or if the camera was pixelating. Oh, oh, I hope the camera's not pixelating. It shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Is that better? Not too close. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Okay, so a little green. Let's go with a little dark green too. Create some little feels in here, but we're not we're not painting. I'm not gonna give it a north pole, I'm not gonna give it a south pole. I just wanna get my <clears throat> get my colors on here now. It looks peaceful or something. Oh, that's what we're going for. As well as peaceful, well. peaceful little planet. What a gorgeous planet we live on. Honey, 2023, we're going to go, we're going to car trip to Alaska. We're going to drive to Alaska all the way from Pennsylvania. I'm so excited about that, I can't even tell you. Okay, what I'm going to do right now and Martin, if airfare gets right and all goes right with the world, maybe we take a little trip over and do some exploring in Europe too. Mm. Czech Republic, France, maybe. Can't. Oh, we should go see Jill in Wales. Okay, I would love to meet lots of our TikTok friends this year. I want to connect. I'm going to connect with our social media friends. Okay, so this was a painting that I had started um, with a house. Um, a couple weeks ago, I started that one. And I usually take a painting and push into there. And I was going to use that one, but it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to grab this one. I like to, I want to get some of that color back off. This is a painting that I had, I've been pressing paintings with that. I'm gonna put that there, and I'm just gonna press. Darn it, I didn't get the whole oh, world. Jumping. I didn't cover the whole world. <laughs> Rubbing it. You got a rose for some. Oh, oh, thank you. And I got enough of the world that I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So now what I'm gonna do is come back in, just sort of give it a little look. And I think I'm gonna turn it I think we're gonna turn it this away. Um, yes, 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 yes. I'm set up here kind of weirdly. 
with this camera. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you can see what's going on. What so I'm going to take a brush here that I haven't used yet tonight. And it's all dried from last week. So I'm going to push. Can you, can you see that? Can you hear that? I'm going to push and do this to just sort of make it flexible again. This is a number seven. It's around, um, it's, it says it's a sable. And I'm going to just dab some of this thicker paint where the thicker, see that thicker bit is. Just going to sort of dab and blend. And like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to paint it like, um, you know, solid blues, solid greens, whatever. I just want to give it a feel. Thank you. Just had a little snack of some dip and, what was it? Crackers, that's the word. I'm just going to scrub this. And when I scrub it, can you see what's happening? It really gets that texture pushed down in. And we wanna get our we wanna get our globe set. The fun part of the stuff is gonna happen all around this globe. So we have the nice globe edge. And I have to think I'm gonna need to cut off this edge here. This edge this right here where this where the spiral notebook had been, this is, um, that's going to need trimmed off. So that's going to be my edge where I start doing my paintings around here because I'm going to, I'm going to end up with a square. I'm going to end up with a square. So let's find our brush that we're going to use. And there are so many different um, you have so many different sizes and shapes of brushes. Um, you can, you can really choose anything. You can choose anything. You can get any kind of effect you want from it, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with just a nice simple little round. You can do a lot of stuff with a nice simple little round brush. Let me find one that's just the right size. You've been told you're so talented, you make it look easy. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is a number five, and it's a round brush, and it's nice and soft. The point on it, the point on it isn't, like, I like to sort of splay it a little bit, and I like it better when it's like a, a nice little tip. That one's not as... That one is not as tipped as I like it. All over the Let's see, I like, when I talk about a tip, this is what I like, this. You're giving Bob Ross that vibes. Little, that little tip, maybe we'll use this. I love Bob Ross. This this is a good round. This is a number 10, this one's pretty big. Yeah, I'll have to rein her in because um, she was want to bring the squirrels in. But we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Oh, a calendar, that's a really good idea. I love calendars. I need, that reminds me, I need to get one for the new office. New studio. I love, there's something about a calendar. I'm still not happy with my brushes. <laughs> I have, I have. I have, I have. I was, was talking about a mop brush and they were using a, a makeup brush. Yeah. <laughs> a mop brush is just like as it sounds, like a nice thick, it's like, I would call that a mop brush. <laughs> But I just arrange all of these, and it's uh, my my favorite brush is just missing, just missing. I'll use this little fellow. <clears throat> Spoiled for choice here tonight. Okay, we'll use this this one. This is a Pepio as well. This one was made in France. Martin getting all these. Mm -hmm. Get all the, I was actually made in Sri Lanka, but uh, the company Pebio, it's a French company. Um, Priscilla Martin, getting all these French vibes tonight. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna make this wet. And now I'm gonna start 
Um, yay, you're going to try painting. Hooray, paint along with me. I'm going to start the here. Brushes, she's going to try. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to start lighter to dark. So let's pick. Just going to pick. And just do some little dabs. Just some little dabs. No set reason, no set rhyme. Different colors, just little splodges. Honey, is splodge a word? Mm -hmm. Little splodges, that's what we want. I'm gonna first start with my yellows. Hello, everybody that's joining in this water Yellows, color Wednesday. Let's go into orange. Can you see back here? Into my orange, sorry. I moved the camera and you can't see my palette. Here we go. And I don't like to use a palette. I like to paint right on my paints. I don't like to waste any paints. So now comes little splodge twos. Honey, are you tired? My back's killing me. Oh, poor Martin. So I'm just making little shapes around here. Oh, thanks for sharing. So that was orange. Let's come into red. It will be a red orange because we took some red in with it, or orange in with it. So now I'm going to come in here with our reds. And I'm going to start making some other little feels. I don't know how to describe this. What I'm up to, you'll see. All will become clear soon. Soon. Hopefully. Reds, let's get into, let's get into a little bit of this. That's a yellow that we've just, like a golden color. I'm going to put some of these little, see I'm just making little splodges and shapes. Thanks. Does that say the tea's gone sour or something? Um, says you find you interested and refreshing. Oh, and thank thanks you. for everybody that's sharing okay, the likes uh, and gonna, sending likes. I'm going to go into my green. <laughs> A <clears> lot <throat> of the colors I will mix like this because they won't turn into mud. I'm going to lighten that up. Earth with stars and all beautiful things all around. Scary. Let's go with a deeper shade of that green too. That's what they see. Oh, I'm excited for this painting. I think you're going to like it. I hope you're going to like it. This painting is the perfect painting to do right now, at the end of this year. Rinse off some of my green. Let's get into this blue. Oh, that beautiful blue. Wait till you see this. This blue is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So is anybody painting along? Yes, if you're painting along, just enjoy it. Go for the ride, trust the process. Don't stress, <laughs> don't stress, trust the process. Okay, so we have that. We gotta make a little, gotta make a little purple. Gotta have my purple. So I just dab it on there, pull it out here. My, my paint box becomes my palette. Blue can be overpowering. So of course your red and blue make your purple. Take it out here so I can see what it's looking like. Yep, that's purple. If these touch, I'm cool with that. They can touch. These little colors can blend, mix, mingle, get all lovely on us. Different things. All different things we're going for here. King Charmer's saying they've got their grandmother's okay. very first painting she ever oh, did. That's beautiful. Be okay, so we got red, orange, yellow, green, purple, blue. We got blue. We got it all. 
So I'm gonna take this, what's left on here, and I'm just gonna do some little spritzies. Can you see the little little taps that have happened here now? It just, it's a real pretty shade. You can also tap this off by tapping it on something. I like to tap on my finger. Oh, honey, I have a little piece of your charcoal laying here mm -hmm. randomly. Okay. So now this, this is fairly dry. And remember, we're going to be, I'm going to be cutting off this. This is going to become a square. So right up here, up by the top, I can take and test my color out. That's a dark purple. The first thing you should do with your paints is actually do this. Get your gradient, get your gradient on. And see how it's just fading and changing. I think now I'm thinking I might actually go <laughs> go around with color. No, I'm going with my original thing. But I will use that scrap for something else. I don't like to waste anything. Absolutely don't. But I'm going to get that all pretty well cleared off. I'm going to come back in and just grab a little bit of water. And now's when the fun starts. I'm going to zoom you in close so you can watch this. Watch the process. Let's get up real close on it. We'll start up right up at the top of the world. Tippy top of the world. Start right up here. So right up here. I'm just going to come in with some water. And just start putting some shapes. Just start putting some shapes. Putting some things together. Pulling some color down. And you're gonna see what's what I'm doing here. Pretty quick. Hopefully. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see I might have to pull you in closer. We're going to focus just right on this area, first of all. People, somebody's asking. Yes, people. Oh, yeah, it was you pulling the cord, my love. I touched him. This, oh, then that fell. This thing fell. I gotta get along, Kurt. There we go. Oops, nope. <laughs> there. If it falls again, it's okay. So this is little. This is little, little. There's my pinky. These are going to be little people. And I'm going to put not lots of detail, but enough detail that you're going to know. Oops. Got to remember to move this where I'm painting. You're going to know these are people. That looks like he has a surfboard. He must be in Hawaii. Hi there. People, people are saying hello. Thanks for all the likes and hello to anybody that's just joined. Priscilla's doing a picture of the world with a little so people the, all the way about it. The splodges, I'm trying to make them hold hands. Well, not trying. We're making them hold hands. These little splodges are all friendly. <laughs> They're all holding hands. And you have to work pretty quick because when the splodges dry, you can get them you can get them back again, but it takes a minute. So up towards the top, I'm gonna create kind of like some head feels, some hat feels, all that sort of thing. Yeah, we're in Pennsylvania. 
You can see how these little splodges are quickly turning into little people. That guy looks like he's a banana. <laughs> Honey. Yeah. <laughs> and for anybody that's new to, to the watercolor weddings, they were in Locust Gap, Pennsylvania. And you can see what Priscilla gets up to with her art and everything on the 1870studio.com. The link's in the bio. So my mission, my mission in 2023 is going to be spreading the joy of creating something, connecting with people, having fun, chasing the hold of your dream right now. Don't wait. Now is absolutely the best time. And I can't think of a cooler painting to start the year off like this. Yeah, this is watercolor Wednesday. What was it you were doing on Friday? Fuse Glass Friday. We're going to be, the glass we pulled last night, the vitrograph. Honey, I didn't tell you this yet either. You're going to be getting your first glass fusing lesson on Friday. Morton's going to have a private fl um, glass fusing lesson. And then on Sunday, you're doing stained glass. Stained glass Sunday, yep. It's funny because I used to always do stained glass Sunday here. I can't wait to do it again. And what was it on Tuesday you're talking about? Uh, nothing on Tuesday, All but right. Monday is going to be Mystery Monday. Right. I'm going to be doing a different art and craft every Monday. And I'll be posting that on the it's studio already, website. It's already all up on the studio website. Go there. Go and there if you and subscribe to the email, you can get notifications about yes. things that Priscilla's doing. Thank you for that, honey. So we're putting down, I'm going to pull you back just a minute to show you the little, how our little world of everybody is looking. Do you see? We started with little splotches. <laughs> and now we have people going all around the world. Let's come up to this top part of the world over here. I'm going to come in then and give them incredible details. Um, but uh, first we got we to gotta get the paint roughed out a little bit. Take some water, dip, dab, dab. Got a little bit carried away on my water. That's all right. I like it when I find, um, it's a little bit green right now. That's okay. I like it when I find um, just this right shade. I, oh, I like that shade. And then I'll make some heads. <laughs> so I like to have them all different. All different color heads, different color arms. They need arms. Our friends are all holding hands here. Some have legs. Some don't have legs. Bigger, taller, shorter. Everything. People popping in all the time. But <laughs> Great. I'm glad you're here. And I hope even if you don't paint along with me right now, you'll be able to watch this on our YouTube channel forever and ever and ever. This is a, f oh, this, I can't tell you how fun this painting is to do. And You're going to love it. Thanks for sending likes. I can't see, is that 6,000 likes now? I can't tell. Can't see I can't see. There anything. Oh, that looks like that one's going to be a little that doggy there. The world, yeah, all around. This is us making connections all around the world. Making new friends. <laughs> Some of these are going to be little animals, too. I'll get you in close as we're doing the details. Um, I like to... I've done, I've done this, this exact kind of painting before. I love it because it's so... It just... You can do absolutely anything with this. You really can. You can get as detailed as you want. I have a lot of green going on, and I'm, I'm good with that. What a world it would be if we would all be greener. <laughs> People are loving I it. I love that. Yeah. I'm glad you're loving it. So painting up, painting down. You see our, our paints are getting kind of dry now. 
That's all right. Just put some little legs, get them, get them grounded. Some of them are like me, jumping up into the, <laughs> jumping up into the wild, uh, wild regions. Others are grounded. That's good. I love that we're all so different. I love that. We're all so different, but we're all the same. We 100% are all the same. That one's right off the ground. Are you going to sell the paint and you're being asked? Yes. This one, on our website, there's a link that says Watercolor Wednesdays. If you go to the studio, you'll see it. And the first person that says they want it, that they want to buy it, that's who it gets sold to. And does it tell you how many bananas it is on the site? Yeah, it tells you how many bananas it is. I think I think TikTok's moving past bananas now. Right. Well, you can't be too careful. I think they are. I've been watching lives, and oh my gosh, the stuff people say on there. Well, there's you know, flogging stuff. But this, if if um, if you ever want to get any of my stuff, awesome. But I really just want to, this is what I want to do. I want to inspire you to like get creative, make something, create something, do it. I want to, I'm going to be your cheerleader this year. Okay, so I want to go in and put a lot of details in here. I just want to make sure I'm happy with how my little splodgies are going. My brush is clean now. Put my brush back. I'm gonna stick these two brushes back too. I gotta get used to having more than just, I, for, for the longest time I painted here with just one brush, didn't I, honey? Mm -hmm. Just had my one brush. Oh, well, to everybody joining. This brush is, is this dry. No, this is wet. I'm gonna look now for a dry brush. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Any, anybody that's just joining, it's Watercolor Wednesday and Priscilla's doing a painting of little people around the world. Okay, this is a great pressure, this. This brush is dry. It's a, um, hopefully you can see there. There's probably another Pebio, is it? Oh, my glasses on. Oh, it's a Pro Art. Pro Art's good. Um, yeah, I'm Scottish. So I'm going to take this dry and now... I want to be real careful with this. I'm going to just take and go just up ever so, just so lightly. I might find some that moves. <laughs> it's my little test to make sure we're dry. Watercolors dry quickly. Yep. Oh, that had some on it. That's what I was looking for, right there. That's your happy spot, right there. So now I'm gonna take and brush down because I know that it's there's some uh, wet stuff up there. Now I'm just gonna, I love that. Couldn't be happier with that. I discovered where it was still wet. And then I can blend. Okay. Oh, that was perfect. And this would be a good spot. <laughs> Somebody's saying about um, the big wash brushes. Even though this is designed to put a whole lot of water on your paper fast, I like to do a wash. I like to do a dry wash, and that's just where you're pulling, and you're making sure this stuff is dry. You can use a blow dryer as well. We're not gonna do that. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to grab, grab a little detail pen. I love pens like, that's not one of them. I, I really, really love um, the, it's Sakura Pigma pens. I really love these. Such a fine point on them. I'm gonna zoom you in zoom you in here and let's start up at the top by those people there those people are so interesting let's see and i gotta put my glasses on i need my glasses 
Because we're going to get up close and personal now with these. Yeah, someone's saying it's on their bucket visit list of visits called Aunt Priscilla. Oh, yeah. The love that she liked visiting all the places over there. Loved it. Okay. The pens just, there and what, where was that? The store that had those pens, the Sakura. Oh, uh, honey, everywhere. Has they, that everywhere. one, that brand Sakura, click, but you get all different that, kinds. If you click one of the links on our website to Amazon, you'll see them on my list. Mm. The Sakura Micron. Okay, I just found another wet spot there with my pinky. And it was right, where was it? Around there. But I'm going to just dab in because I want to make sure that's dry. But if you don't it's like dry. using Amazon, the local craft store or something, oh, yeah. don't you? Everybody carries these. Okay, so let's start. Let's start at the top of the world. I'm going to make the top of the world. I kind of want to make a baby Yoda. <laughs> well, Polly Angel said you can get them at Walmart. kind of want to make it look like a little baby Yoda up hmm. here, Martin. And that's not going to be the earth then if he's on there, is it? Baby Yoda. <clears throat> Honey, it has to be baby Yoda. Look at him. He's holding hands there. <sighs> yeah. Um, because there's all sorts of everything on here. This is a little animal. Don't know what kind of little animal. There's a little leaf. Here's another little leaf. Sonny Breezy saying he came to Earth inclusive with Yoda. Of course. Look, he's on a little leaf. That's Grogu, no baby Yoda. He's all but he's beautiful. Okay. And that little mouse is beautiful too. Got a little whisker. We're going in for the details. I'm hoping, am I close enough? Are you seeing the details? You'll see them now. <laughs> I'll come around this side. The, it might be a little bit, might be a little bit silly. But silly is okay. It's a Sakura Microfine, isn't it? Uh, uh, micron. Micron. It's micron and it's zero one. You see that? Sakura. Zero one. This archival ink. It's awesome. The point on this is so fine. Thanks, so Marilyn. fine. This is a little, honey, this might be a little frog. Mm. Or a little lizard Care person. Much. Is it green? It's green, but it's wearing a little, uh, <laughs> a little yellow sports vest. And this one is carrying stalks of wheat. Look at that. Not stalks and bonds, because who needs that? Let's get stalks of wheat. This one can be a happy little something. There's its little smile. Little ear. Put little feels up there. It might be bamboo that it has too. We're just connecting everything now. We are all connected. I feel that. Don't you feel it, honey? What's up? We're all connected. Yeah. I I promise I'm gonna get to a real person in a minute. <laughs> Just starting out here with little animals. Oh, you got one of these silly messages again about the filtered stuff. Oh, no, okay. hold that for a while. No. I don't know what that is. It looks like a sweet gingerbread man. I don't know what that is either. It can be a little face. Oh my gosh, it's Sir Dinkums. Hmm. Martin, Sir Dinkums. There he is. <sighs> This person is going to get um, MC Hammer pants. There's a little, there's a little icon on that one. It's a little halo. There's a little angel. Or a little fairy. Let's put little feet there. Can you see? Can everybody see okay? 
Thanks for all the likes Thanks everybody's all. sending. A little froggy critter of some fashion. Whenever I've done these before, they've always been people. <laughs> Honey, these are all little animals. That guy's playing a guitar. Mm. <laughs> yeah, cat, we've been going live a lot more lately as uh, things have calmed down a wee bit that uh, the moves, all the stuff's moved up here so we're able to spend more time on the lives. That one's playing a guitar. Thanks for the rose. Cat, sent, cat cook sent rose. So the fun part happens with these when you start to doodle on them. <laughs> and Jackie sent every emote. <laughs> Oh, honey, this guy has a kilt on. Oh, a guitar. That little, oh, or is it that a ukulele? little fox playing the guitar. That's a guitar. Uh, Thank that's you. That's great. That little guy has a kilt on right there. Oh, another guitar. Oh, I was looking for something. So gonna, these guys are so teeny tiny. I was going to say better weather, but you couldn't have had better than the day. I went out to cut firewood and had to, I ended up just with my sweatshirt and then and that on as it was so warm it was incredible. This one's some kind of a cricket. Yep, we're doing well. Priscilla's feeling a lot better. Oh, so good. Oh, she has a beautiful skirt on. Oh, look, look on. Priscilla, a hedgehog. <gasps> oh my gosh, Henry the Hedgehog. Oh, cat, I love that so much. And purple scent, wishing bottles. Oh Hi, Lisa. <laughs> you mean mom? Look at Henry the you, Hedgehog. You'll have to come over for a visit, Lisa. Oh, cat, thank you. Oh, hi, Lisa. Oh, oh, just because Lisa's here, I'm gonna draw a kitty cat. Creamy is the cutest little kitty cat ever. I've never seen Henry the Hedgehog before. I never have either. But look, there's a little kitty cat. That little kitty cat is wearing a skirt or kilt. Yep, she's feeling it a lot better now, Lisa. Yeah, so much better. Oh, what's up, cats? Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Did you see the cat's feet oh, there? <laughs> yes, yes. <sighs> Another perfect. Oh, thank you. That person has on a plain white t-shirt. Thanks for all the likes everybody's sending and the gifts. It's amazing. And I hope you can see the details. These are so little. Look at, there's my hand. <laughs> Wait, I used to be with my ring. Look, that little man fits inside of a ring. <laughs> These are little dinkies, but they're, they're, I'm loving them. I am loving them. This is a super Oops. relaxing way to paint. You're not doing any kind of preconceived notion. You have the beautiful All of these earth. stockings. Oh, thank you. You have the beautiful earth. And this is going to be some sort of a little crustacean. Hi to anybody what. joining. It's like you're catching Priscilla doing people and animals round about a picture Critters. of the world. I don't, I don't think I've done any people yet. Oh, right. Have it's all I? animals. It's all been animals. Let's face it. <laughs> animals are superior, right? <laughs> Thanks for sharing the life. This one's going to have its little eyes, a little smile. This could be a person. That's a little green pea person kicking their leg up in the air. That's two or three people shared the life just now, Priscilla. Thank you. And sometimes you don't even have to think about what they are. Just give them some eyes and a smile. You know? couple little eyes, little smile. Let's give this one some little spiky hair. They're not all holding hands because some people don't like to hold hands. Morton, this is going to be yes, a little hey, octopus Martin. here. Oh, thank you for that cat. Yes, honey. ASMR. 
This one's sort of a little squidly oh, diddly. That's not so good. Hopefully you're okay. Our son tasted positive for COVID, so hopefully oh, you're fine. Yes, hope everybody's doing healthy and happy oh, stuff. More cat's paws. Thank you. So I'm putting some stuff on here. I'm just sort of outlining, putting in little faces here and there. This does not, these don't, these actually look best when they're not super detailed. I mean, when they're not, when you really have to look at them. I think that's when the fun starts. Thanks for sharing. When you really have to like look at it and see what is that? Like, what is that thing? I don't know, but I like it. Like this right here could be a little elephant trunk reaching over. There's a little elephant, honey. Mm -hmm. Look, there's his little tusk. There's a little tusk. There's his little legs. Little toenails. That little elephant's happy. He's touching that, whatever that is. I just like to put in lots of smiles. There's somebody saying they saw the elephant. Yay, look, there's a little love heart by the elephant. See the little love heart we just found? There's the back legs of the elephant. See how it works? How cool is it? You're gonna find all kinds of cool stuff when you start looking for it. Now this, when I painted this out, this, I thought, Looked like a little llama. No, no, I just messed it up. There we go. I'll put its legs back there and put some fluffs on it. It could be a llama. That could be Marge Simpson back there. That hair. We're just going around the world making new friends. That's what it's all about. Making new friends. Connections. I am a big believer of we're all here to be. We're all here to, you know, get to know each other, get to learn about each other. This is a little bird right there. So I got to have a little bird on there. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's another little bird. There's two little birds. Although that one has some... Hi to people that are joining. Hope you had a good okay. Christmas. I'm and gonna... this is uh, the last watercolor. Oh, no, is it? This yeah, is the last, the last watercolor last watercolor of this year. The year. There's a big fluffy yellow chick coming up. So we use yep, the same. right there. Right there, that's the fluffy. Yeah, if anybody's got any questions or suggestions, shout it out. Yes, if I, you see I, something on it that you can suggest, I'll read it out to Priscilla. And thanks for all the people that are here and all the likes and the gifts that you're sending. It's amazing. Put some hair on that one. That could be a, a little lady there. Could be a little lady. Uh, that's that's great. Your real name says and says they love this. They're painting their own alongside you. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. Here's another little bird. There's no. Do you see? There's no right or wrong way to do this. All the animals, all the friends. There's a little ducky duck. Oh, that could be a little miniature cow. <clears throat> a little something. Oh, honey, I hear the trash can going out. Huh. Well, lady reminded me of Morton in a kilt, it says. <laughs> hey, Karen saying that was lovely. And, uh, let me zoom me back out and show you where we are here. Oops. This is where we are in the world. 
We're not even halfway around. All, we're not even halfway around the world. Look at all of our little new friends we're making. And don't be afraid. P turn your painting. Turn your painting so you stay in a comfy arm position. I'm going to get you back in close. You can see all the all of the new friends coming up. We don't need any water anymore. I like that little cow there. You need to scroll up. It's stuck at the messages. It's saying oh, three sorry. new messages. There you go. Okay, yeah. Start with your circle of the earth. Paint, paint splotches around it. And then give them detail. This person, this little, this little fellow is carrying yeah, something. Yeah, we're saying it was cute, beautiful, and one says uh, it's cool and creative. <laughs> Love thank it. you. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Oh no, that means you're growing. There's a maybe two. I camel. don't know. That's what I was thinking. A two hump camel. But we just can't see his head. His head's hiding. Or maybe a dinosaur. I don't know. It could be a dinosaur. Sometimes I like to just trace things. And I don't even think about what they are. I will just trace a color. See how all these little splotches are all these different little colors? I'll just do this and <laughs> just trust the process. Some are saying they have to make dinner, but they'd rather watch you. Oh. Uh, after you did the splotches, did you spray them to make them mix a little or just nope. let them dry? I just touched them with the brush. I touched them with the brush. And this, this is gonna be, let's make this a little lady. And her, honey, she's in a Baywatch bathing suit, I think. Hmm. <laughs> Give her some little feet. I've never watched Baywatch, but I know they, didn't they wear red or orange? You watched the film. Oh the yeah, the film, oh my gosh, the film was so good. Here comes a duck. <laughs> A big duck. I'm gonna give so him. See, it's now that's you, Priscilla. <laughs> that could be me. Hey, in my bathing suit, holding hands with a big duck. Oh, on one side, a dinosaur on the other side. It seems legit. <laughs> Other and people saw the dinosaur too. The fun part of oh, or that duck, could I that say. could be Nessie right here. Hmm. There's Nessie with the little humps. Let's make that Nessie. There's a little Nessie back there. It's the fun part of the fun part of doing like these little splotchy paintings. Uh, I've seen. I've been manifesting to see a duck. I see it now. Great. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what this little creature is. I'm kind of glad we're not going with all people. Usually when I do this, I do it with all people. If anybody sees something, you can shout it out. And uh, if, if it triggers in Priscilla's head as well, she can turn it into it. Yes. So if you see one of the characters that you think looks like something, give us a shout and I'll read it out to you. Please, please. And you are saying, oh yes, Nessie. <clears throat> that one has a sweet little face now. Oh, this one. Oh, this one, Martin. This one needs to be a little green porcupine with his little tum tum stick in there. Holding hands. Who are you Standing holding hands Standing bear with? coming up. Standing bear. I think that's the reddish one, maybe. Oh, this guy can be a bear. The brown one with the orange shirt looks like a bear. 
said Denise and Madeline. There's I think that's the one Denise Bennett and Madeline said. That's the, the one with the orange shirt. There's another little And Denise is saying, yeah, yes. that's the one she meant. Maybe a, a couple of beers. Oops, yeah, they're oops, dancing. Stealing picnic baskets. What's better than one picnic basket? Two picnic baskets. That's <laughs> one Rupert Bear. Oh, that's someday for the UK. Rupert Bear. Rupert, Rupert the Bear. Everyone <laughs> knows his name. Oh, see it, Martin. That's a bit, that's a bit that I want to know. <laughs> Yogi. I love it. That kind of looks like a little turtle there. A little turtle. He might not have a hand to hold. Well, Nelson, how about to go? Thanks for visiting and have a good evening. Little got to go. See you later. One. Have a good evening. There's a little cardinal. Oh, we're making it around the earth now. Mm -hmm. We're going right around the earth. Yeah, Priscilla's doing all little characters around about the earth, all animals and birds. If you see anyone, that, if you see a little character you think looks like something, shout it out and if she can, she'll turn it into it. If you see what color a shirt or something, it looks like it's got on. That one's walking with a stick. That's me when I mess my knee up. And it doesn't have to be animals or people because she's got a, a grogu in there, Baby Yoda. Yes, Baby Yoda. The first one she did off. was a Baby Yoda. That one's getting curly wild hair. Bernstein bear with a yellow raincoat. Oh, right there. I see it. I see it. What's Bernstein Bear? You know the Bernstein Bears, oh, the children's the books. Bears. Oh, this one American has thing. a little. This one has a little um, life preserver ring on, and he's. Oh, that's Oogie Boogie Man. <laughs> he's from Jack Skellington. Look, there's Oogie Boogie. He's going swimming. Hi there. Um, the Oogie, remember, honey? Mm -hmm. Look at Oogie. Do you guys see it? And here comes this little fella. It almost looks like Paddington in a raincoat, that one. Has he got his marmalade sandwich under his hat? Oh, looks like he has a bow tie. Maybe we make that one a kitty cat. Oh, no. That's Rudolph. Look at the red nose. That one's got to be Rudolph. Anybody see anything else? Rudolph. And he has... That's his hazard warning light on him. <laughs> Here comes a parrot in the tiki 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 room. In the tiki 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 room. Oh, the birds sing words and the flowers croon in the tiki tiki tiki. They, they're all doing the conga. That's what they're doing, honey. Mm. Martin, I'm loving this little painting. Mm -hmm. This is so fun. Okay, what do we got here? A mallard duck coming up. This one. You're so creative, I love it, says uh, Dreams Dealer. This is just a little, a little friendly face. Here's a little poodle. A little French poodle with a little top knot. No. <laughs> a little silhouette of a mousy looking oh, character. Rosies. Oh, have a, a good little, night then, Jack. He's off to church. Out. Have a good evening. There's a beak. For sure. Hmm. 
Maybe that's little, oh, that could be the hair on that one. That one's, I don't know. <laughs> this is a little person, little legs. Face could have been an Easter Island figure. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a dinosaur coming up. I'm going to put a little nose out that way on that one. I keep forgetting. Looky what I have here. Eh. I can put some little, little whites in their eyes, too, here. Give some, of these looks like a turtle. Some of them with little whites in their eyes. Uh, I would love to do with his grandsons. Please answer the question. Do this what with your grandsons. Question? Yes. Definitely do this with your with the little ones. I never saw the question. It mustn't have posted, Ridge. If you yes. type it again, uh, watercolor, watercolor on watercolor paper, and I started with a uh, bowl in the middle, and the whole this whole. Um, the whole video will be on our YouTube channel as well. See, next is a dinosaur and then a ninja turtle that's Raphael. <laughs> Raphael. <clears throat> Mr. Potato Head, somebody says. Yeah. Mike, Mike, Michelle Alexander says. Uh, when I Mr. see Potato the Head. when I see the beaks like that, I gotta go for a bird. I see I see a lot of stuff in here too. Right, this is the question. On you go. I'll read it out when you post it. Looked like a surfboard before to me. That's a little person there. In silhouette, maybe with some wild hair. All jumping around. Oh, they're dancing, these two. Mm -hmm. Those who are totally dancing. That's when the poet's got a jumper with a yellow head. <laughs> yeah, that's Dreams Dealer said the same just as I said it. <laughs> oh, I see. That looks like Raphael there. I see that. I think. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's in a half shell. Turtle power. It's funny in Britain it was hero turtles. That is weird. They said ninja sounded too violent. What? Honey, we're back to baby Yoda. Oh, so yeah. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. That's a little fairy there, maybe. A couple little fairies. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back in where I did those little white dots, where I do those little white dots there. All right, I think we're done. What time is it, babe? Mm, I don't know. I'm trying to see the time on the clock. Let's see it's six. Seven oh, more. that's perfect. Sorry, 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 sorry. Had to take you out of there. Now let's examine, shall we? We'll examine our little painting. And I'm going to cut it into a square. I'm going to put this in a little frame. Um, and Ridge... I, we did not see what your question is. I'm so sorry it did not come up. Um, and we're friends. That's weird. So message me. Um, if, you, if you have a question or put it in the comments, I'll make a little quick TikTok about this and show you where to go to see these guys. Let me, let me pull it this way and turn it around to show you the whole wide world. I see so many little critters in there. <laughs> Look at all of them. 
Oh my goodness, there's my favorite little baby Yoda. All these people and critters and all just loving it. Loving it. Loving this little world we're on. And it is a little world. And we gotta share it. That's a beautiful part about this. I'm glad you like it, and thank you to everybody who has been watching. Uh, if you're watching the replay of this on YouTube, thanks for, for that. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, and make sure you're following us. If you don't already follow us, please, and um, maybe tell a friend about us. If you have a friend that does TikTok and they like, they like things like this, they like things like this. <laughs> They like things like this. <laughs> uh, make sure you give us give us a follow. Like us. Um, oh, so glad we're here too on this earth. I'm so glad we're all on here together. This is all of us. So this is a super fun and easy painting to do. I'll give you a super fast recap. Um, paint your color around the outside of a bowl. Push it on your paint painting, put it on a clear piece of paper. This will work with fabric and fabric paints. Then just pull your paints in to create your earth. And then we just put little splotches all around the earth and just went in then after it was dry, did our detail. Super fun and easy and so colorful. And you could, if you wanted to, you could paint detail around it, but I'm going to crop it as a square, I think. And yay, I'm glad you're inspired. I'm glad you're here. And be sure to check out, we're going to do, let me write down what we're going to be doing. Let me, I want to have this on here. We're going to be doing, this is almost every week and definitely for the whole month of, just, of <laughs> January, we're doing stained glass Sundays. And I'm not going to write the times down because I'm not sure on what they are, but they're posted on our website, which our website is the 1870studio.com. And the link's in the bio. Yep, link's in the bio. So we're every, every week, every week, we're going to do stained glass Sundays. We're going to make stained glass together. We're going to do mystery Mondays. I'm so excited about mystery Mondays. Uh, I'm going to always try to use stuff that you probably have in your house. Mystery Mondays, um, we're going to always do watercolor Wednesday. I love painting watercolors with you. Watercolor Wednesday. And we're going to do um, fused glass Fridays. So make sure... If you go to our website, you'll see the schedule. Um, we're going to have lots of fun together. And if you That's subscribe for the whole... to the email, you, you'll get messages about yes. stuff. Yes, yeah. I'll email everybody the schedule if you're on our email list on that's free on our website. All of, all of our workshops, all of this online stuff we're doing, it's always going to be free. I promise, promise. I'm never going to sell you something. I want to teach... I want to teach the world how to get creative. Look, I want to find, where's Oogie Boogie at again? I like little Rudolph. There was Oogie Boogie Man I made accidentally. Baby Yoda. Of the room. Where'd he go? It was near the dock. Near the dock? I think. Where'd Oogie Boogie go? I like the little elephant too. Boogie boogie, where are there? He, wait, no, there he is. There he is. <laughs> yeah, see, it's a quarter of the okay, I mean, It's oogie boogie in a um <laughs> in a life preserver ring. Mm. So let's let's have fun together. Let's get creative. Let's inspire each other to make beautiful things. Uh, <laughs> toast marshmallows with our sly little bun bun look at that sly little bun bun and uh make sure you join us next week for watercolor wednesdays this is the circle of life linda 
I love that. Isn't that beautiful, Martin? Mm -hmm. Linda says, this is the circle of life. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody, for being here. You're just the best. You inspire us. And that's not a joke. We, we're so happy that um, you like our crazy, quirky church. <laughs> And you like creating with us. It's so fun. So everybody have a beautiful rest of your night. I hope that um, all your dreams come true today. Bye-bye. Good night, all.